Hello my friends and welcome back to another Cozy Crochet Classroom Stitch Tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to be working this honeycomb stitch which is amazing. Look at this. It's so thick and so intense and so beautiful and really it's not that difficult. It's an intermediate stitch. It's not, you know, the easy ones, but it's not so difficult. So let's get started. For the purpose of this tutorial, I am going to be uh, using a four medium weight yarn. This is Alize Burkum yarn in this light color, so you can do what I'm doing. And my five millimeter hook. Now, for this stitch, we need an even number of chains. So calculate whatever you're doing, whatever project you're planning, and have an even number of stitches. We start, I didn't want to waste time on these two first rows because our two first rows are single crochet rows. So you start your first row with a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. You walk single crochet all the way across, chain one, and walk up all the way across again, one single crochet in each stitch. So the first two rows are single crochet rows, regular single crochet rows. And now we are going to start our honeycomb stitch. This is my last single crochet. I chain one and I turn my work. All right. Now I'm going to chain make one single crochet in the first stitch, regular single crochet, and then I am going to go down two rows and make one single crochet, pulling up the yarn like this, one single crochet, in long single crochet in the next stitch. One regular single crochet in the next stitch, and one long single crochet in the next one. I go down two rows and insert my hook, pull up the yarn a little bit loose and finish my single crochet. The next one is a regular single crochet and again two rows below a long single crochet. Regular, long. Regular, long. This is how we are going to start forming the honeycomb stitch. All right, so you do, you continue one regular, one long, all the way across to the end of your, oops, of your row. And we finish with one single regular single crochet. All right, so this I have two left, one long and one regular. All right, chain one and turn your work. Now you see that we are starting to have these loops here, these V's here. We are going to work on them now. So, chain one, and we start with one double crochet in the first stitch and another double crochet in the next stitch. All right, two regular, not double, I said double, single crochet, excuse me. One single crochet, one single crochet in the uh, first two stitches. And now, if you look here, we have these Vs from our long single crochet. We are going to walk them like this. We are going to do a front post single crochet using the two loops, one in the left from the first one and one in the right from the second one. 
join together in a single crochet. All right? And then one regular single crochet. And again, front post the left one and the right one together, single crochet, and one regular single crochet. Front post, single crochet, and regular single crochet. The left side and the right side of the, this long single crochet together and regular. This is how we start to get the honeycomb uh, pattern. Regular single crochet and front post single crochet. Regular single crochet and front post single crochet. And now we are at the end of our row with two last stitches. If you remember, we started with two single crochet at the beginning, so we end with two single crochet at the end. Regular single crochet. All right? This is row four. Now we're going to row five. We made two single crochet rows and then one long single crochet row and then one front post single crochet row. We chain one, turn our work. Let me get some yarn. Now, this is row number five. We are going to start with one long single crochet here. So we go down two rows here and we pull up the loop and finish our first long single crochet. And now we are working one regular single crochet. Now our next long single crochet, you see that you have these loops here long loops here, we are going to be working on the left side of these loops. So our this is our next stitch, right? So we are going to go down here, inside here. And if you see on the other side, it's in the middle of our triangle here. So let's put our hook here and pull up the yarn, sorry, and finish our single crochet. Next one is a regular single crochet and again the next one is going to be here on the left side and a regular single crochet. Again on the left side and a regular single crochet. Again, here on the left side, two rows down, and regular single crochet. We see these long stitches here, we go on the left of it, two rows down, and we pull up the loop, and a regular single crochet. All the way across to the end of your row. Okay, this one is. Remember, we start and we finish the same way. So this is our last regular single crochet. And here we are going to finish with our long single crochet here. It's a little bit, it goes around like this and we finish with our long single crochet. So if we turn our work we see that we have all our long single crochet here in the middle of these triangles. Chain one, turn your work, and we are going to start again 
single crochet in the first stitch and now we are going to do a front post single crochet the left side and the right side front post single crochet regular single crochet in the next stitch and again a front post single crochet here and you'll see how we get the honeycomb pattern regular front post you always have to take the left side and the right side of the loops so we get the pattern one regular one honeycomb one regular one front post right front post one regular one front post one regular and one front post so you get the pattern one regular one front post where is it here and last one regular because we started with the regular so we finish with the regular all right so this was the honeycomb stitch tutorial the repeat is from row three to row six you continue repeating these three rows as long as you want for the length or for the width of your um, project I think it's a really beautiful stitch. Look how amazing it looks in different colors. Of course, you can switch colors. You can, you know, be creative. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please come back to our free community and share your projects. All right, so I will see you in our next stitch tutorial.